You know, you got this fantasy in your head about getting out of the life and setting the corporate world on its ear. What the fuck you gonna do? Except hustle, except hustle, except hustle. To protect and to serve. Just like the cops have on the side of their car. It's the same angle basically that you take towards this chip game. A lot of people believe that, you know what I mean, most of the money or most of your, your knowledge about money should go to acquiring it. But a good chunk of it should go to preserving it and protecting it. The bank has fees, right? They charge you fees for, for holding your own money. But the bank has a vault, the bank has bulletproof glass, the bank has armor people who pick it up, the bank has uh, computer technology protecting you from hacking in there. The bank has credit cards that if someone steals something from you, they can shut it down. The bank has a hundred million ways to protect their money. And you would think that uh, the bank, you know, they're just about mortgages and all. They're really Fort Knox. If you looked at the game and the way they set it up, they really are about protecting their money. You understand what I mean? More than anything else in this game is protecting their money. You know, uh, I was, what was it? Jesse James said, you know, why do you rob banks? And he said, that's where the money is. You know, one day, hopefully, if you take on this chip game, they'll say, you know, why do they rob you? Because he has the money. You got to dig that, understand that on a, on a bigger scale than just uh, regular cops and robbers and regular dudes out on the street and all the hate you see. It's really much more about you being a little bit proactive and, you know what I'm saying, less reactive to these chips. When you get money... Anything over a hundred grand, you're going to start getting a whole bunch of letters in the mail about some dumb shit. There's going to be things to say, you know, hey, you know, come and talk to us. Here's a, another credit card. Do you think you would want a burial plot? You should buy a boat. Here's a chance to buy some property in another area. You know, the, the mail keeps coming. They find out that you hit a new tax bracket. And hell if I know how they find all that fucking information out, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? You would think you would keep it between you and the bank. But the bank is a snitch. And the bank wants to let everybody know. If you check a lot of your letters you get in the mail from the bank, they'll tell you, do you want to opt in or opt out? And you have to keep opting out because those motherfuckers sell your information, sell your, your address, sell a whole bunch of shit. So if we, since we above the street shit, only the motherfuckers who really got access or willing to buy those lists know where you live. You have to dig what I'm saying? So the bank just gives out your information. The credit card companies give out your information. As a result, you get tons of letters of mail. You know what I'm saying? And then, if you're not smart about your chips, you start thinking, I need somebody to manage my money. There goes one dick in your ass right there. Then you start saying, I need someone who's a good accountant because I can't do my own accounting. That's another dick in the ass right there. Then, you know, I need somebody to manage me. And, I, you know, then you start sounding like a goddamn diva. You know what I mean? With all the people who have to manage your money. And the vultures come out for the dudes who can't do for self. Once you do for self, there's a whole bunch of people who say, I can do that for you, friend. Why do you cut your own lawn? You know, I, somebody else can do that. Why do you, you know what I'm saying? You drive that car. You should drive a better one. Why do you eat hamburgers? You should eat crumbled meat, ground beef, or, uh, with peppercorn. Yeah, you know, they just come and come and come. Every commercial is set for you to celebrate. Half of these goddamn vodka commercials and all this shit on there is always set up for when you celebrate, don't forget Ciroc. When you celebrate, don't forget Grey Goose. When you're taking that special girl out, don't forget to drink this and kangaroo and, and all this shit to tell you, live the high life. The high life is drink more expensive poison. This is what uh, rich people do. But rich people protect themselves. This is, you know, key to the game number 1001. Rich people don't make waves. Rich people don't come outside. Rich people don't interact with your dumb ass. Rich people ain't on the street walking, you know what I mean, looking like they, uh, like they, uh, you know, I'm saying they regular, but they just not on the street you on. Rich people, ever since the invention of the internet, I bet you that helped rich people a whole bunch because they don't have to come out shopping with your crazy ass. You understand what I'm saying? They can just go get some of their restaurants and come right back. Rich people are very defensive oriented cats about this chip, about their chips only, about life. Because they know they have something that everybody else wants. A hell of a lot of cash. And they keep a low profile to maintain that. 
They protect themselves. They protect themselves by being proactive, by not hanging around dumb hood shit anymore, by not dealing with ratchet women no more, by not dealing with dudes who still think they uh, thugs anymore, by not being in clubs where motherfuckers get shot anymore. You understand what I'm saying? They're very proactive to defend and protect their chips. And this is something that a lot of us don't seem to understand. You know what I mean? Whenever you hear a cat say, oh, you know, he moved up into the hills, he moved into the burbs. He moved away from the chaos. He moved where his money would be safe, where he could live his life. If most of us grew up in these areas, homie, I know his headhunters around when I was growing up all damn day. Looking for a way to jack you for your car, your your chain, your money. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers was getting jacked when I was in junior high school for goddamn starter jackets and shit. So, I mean, it's just, you know, if you grew up in that environment, why in the hell would you stay in the middle of that shit just to say, you know, I'm rich, but I'm still good in the hood? That shit is stupid. Rich people don't bring attention to themselves. Rich people get unlisted numbers. In fact, right now, I have an unlisted number. You dig what I'm saying? I have a number that, hell, if you dial it, it ain't it ain't where I'm at. You had to dig what I'm saying? Thank God for the internet again. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? But it's just ways that you protect yourself. Um, rich people, you know what I'm saying, separate their their uh, where they are, Daniel Freeman, from the company. Keep three or four separate addresses. Rich people put shit in P.O. boxes. Rich people have safe deposit boxes in the bank. In other words, look how much they do to protect and be discreet about their chips. Look how much of, is going on. You know what I'm saying? Nobody can steal your identity if you never have used credit cards. You ever thought about that? If you keep it cash, homie, how can they steal what you got? You know what I'm saying? Nobody can really steal or jump into your thing if you ain't going around swiping your debit card at the, at the gas station where you know motherfuckers got the little chip on the front of the thing and steal your, your cards. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, it's a lot of things that they're doing. Shit, I do a good chunk of my damn self to keep a low profile and to keep myself out of the mainstream of what dumb motherfuckers think about this money. So just like the cops, homie, their first priority is to protect and to serve. To protect the money makers. To protect the business builders. To protect the hustlers. To protect anyone who contributes to the commerce of the country. That is the priority of capitalism. So you know why other countries don't grow? It's because they can't protect the motherfuckers who start making a lot of money. The dudes who make a lot of money got to go hire a small militia to make sure motherfuckers can get a goddamn compound and get gates and shit and get private drivers. All that shit costs money to protect your chips. When they come to the USA, they can live right on your goddamn block. Because you're not, you not militia worthy. You ain't that kind of dude. So they can be right in your general vicinity and enjoy life. This is why rich people come to live around rich people. This is why when you go to Manhattan, you have rich people from the Netherlands and from Jerusalem and from Africa. and You know what I'm From the Caribbean. They all living in the same basic, you know, four square block. If you go up to the Upper East Side, you'll see them a hell of a lot more by the museum. You know what I mean? So it's just, you know, all these diplomats and all these people from foreign countries. And you're wondering, why the hell are they here? Because they can be rich here with no hassle. They can enjoy themselves here with no hassle. They can protect themselves here with no hassle. What I'm trying to get you to understand in this podcast is part of, you know, a big chunk of making money. I'm not going to say it's bigger than the serving the product, which I'm getting to in a second. Part of making this money is, is protecting yourself. And, and you got to think about this shit, man. It's, it's, it's motherfuckers right now in this recession. It's hungry motherfuckers out here. You know what I'm saying? They super thirsty. They got dry mouth in this game. You understand dig what I'm saying? They trying to get as much as they possibly can and shit getting thin and motherfuckers can't do for self. So they come out looking for your shit. They gonna take what you got. Rich people knew this from day one, man. They kept their kids away from your fuck ass kids. They kept their, 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 their cars behind closed doors and gates. You know what I'm saying? When they went to a club, they went to an exclusive club that you couldn't get into. They avoid all the shit up in Hollywood and trying to be something. Motherfuckers ain't, you know what I'm saying? The, the fault of a poor man, and you'll know this in another podcast, the fault of a poor man is that he, not only does he want to be rich, he wants to be famous. Most everybody else just want to be rich. When you see a rich man, let's say like Donald Trump, try to break ranks and go out there on TV, a lot of people think he's a goddamn fool. He's bringing too much attention to himself. Right? 
But since you grew up poor, similar to me, or with that poor ass mentality, a slave mentality, you want somebody to appreciate you and then you want to be rich. And that's why you get shot down. This is why you hear randomly on TV that a motherfucker in a Bentley got killed. A pastor or somebody got killed on TV. You hear this shit because they didn't know to protect their chip. They think this, this life is sweet. <laughs> you better go into Beverly Hills, homie. You better head, head west. You better, you know what I'm saying, be on the right side of town where your Bentley don't mean shit. You got to learn to protect your chips, homie. And it's a priority. Not more important than making the chips. Now, I'm going to lean into the, to the serve part. When you make a business, it's important that you hurry up and get your dumb ass out of the way. Meaning, one day Freeman starts Freeman Burgers. The first month, Freeman's in there flipping burgers. Everybody in the hood know Freeman makes burgers. Within three months, Freeman ain't in there no more making burgers. Freeman just checking the cash. Right? Because I'm coming to see how the money doing, how it's flowing, and I'm going to be like a manager coming in there. I ain't managing the people, I'm managing the business. You got to hurry up and take your product and push yourself away from it. The reason why people get shot, all these goddamn merchants get shot, and people follow them home is because your bitch ass did not hurry up and get away from your chips. You can't be the face of this chip game, man. You can't do it. If you keep doing that shit, motherfuckers know to follow you home, to kidnap your kids, to bother your wife, to beat you up on the block. They follow your circles when you leave your house to see how you gonna be, where you gonna be, what kind of car you gonna drive. You gotta know to hurry up and get away from your shit. I think most motherfuckers don't understand that when they come into this game that you don't want the fame, you want all the money. You don't really want to be out there. You know what I'm saying? You can look at me on the, on the damn book. I don't want to really be out there. You know what I'm saying? Because then, oh man, you know, and then you're going to get the bullshit haters, which I ain't worried about. I'm strapped, but I'm just saying I, I'm not worried too much. But you get the bullshit haters who just hate you because you're doing better than them, doing something they could have did. But if you really keep making money, motherfuckers plotting on you. That motherfucker stay over there on the west side. Yeah, this motherfucker, you know, I see him sometimes, you know what I'm saying? He think everything's sweet, you know what I'm saying? I don't think everything's sweet on <laughs> but, but it's one of those things where, you know, someone could call it paranoia, but I understand the rules to this chip game, and that is uh, the dude who owned the gasoline station. You see those dumbass dudes, they always sitting in there and they getting popped in the fucking head because dudes know that the money is in there. But if they hire someone else, let that motherfucker get popped in the head. You understand what I'm saying? Let them hire a security guard or something to protect their chips. The bank does. Every time you walk in that motherfucker, if a lot of chips are being handled, transactions are being flipped, the bank has somebody right there, two or three security guards. If they don't have two or three security guards, they got like bulletproof glasses, you know what I'm saying, up to the second story of their building. Because they know, go ahead and shoot, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna do nothing. My people protected, my money protected. We got cameras on you. Motherfuckers got cameras on you like you walking into a, a goddamn camera store. They not playing. But they know to separate themselves from the chips. You serve a product. The product needs to sell itself. And then you need to disappear. You understand what I'm saying? You never really walk into any restaurant except small time ass thinking motherfuckers who, who want the fame for saying this is Freeman's Burgers. Come and check out Freeman. He's a good guy. He's around the corner. This motherfucker dumb. He don't understand these chips, partner. You walk into Chili's. You walk into Friday's. Do you see Mr. Chili's or Mr. Friday's? You walk into to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Do you see the Colonel? You walk into McDonald's. Do you see, you know, they always have all these other people. He's the president. He's it. And we're having a spotlight on the manager. Let them motherfuckers be the target of them bullets and this hate. You understand what I'm saying? When you serve a product, homie, you gotta disappear, partner. You can't be sitting here saying that dumb shit like you gonna be the pride of the community. People gonna know your name. When you attach your name to this chip game, homie, you doomed to fucking fail. This ain't the 1920s. This ain't J. Paul Getty and Vanderbilt and all these names you know, Rockefeller. Right? What happened? Why you don't see the who owns 3M and all that? Them motherfuckers got smart. Dudes walking around strapped. It ain't as safe as it used to be. Motherfuckers kidnapping your kids. You understand what I'm saying? All kind of shit. So you gotta learn the rules of this game. And the first thing you need to know is, homie, you need to build empires. 
which I stress to you all the time. Empires have many levels. You got the dude at the gate who lets you in. You got the person who, who, who escorts you to the table. You got the server who serves you the food. And, and by all that time, you went through six motherfuckers before I came out the door and sat down and said, what's up, partner? I mean, you got to understand the rules to this shit. Because they let the dumb motherfuckers think, oh, man, you know, I'm, I'm in the hood, I'm visible, I'm on iron. What are you running for, for Congress, motherfucker? Why do you need to be so visible? You know what I'm saying? This chip game, homie, that we in, it ain't one in a million shots. It's just that it's only one motherfucker that believe he can do it out of a million people. And since you that one cat, since you that one brother, since you that one dude, that one partner in this game, homie, you got to think. You know what I'm saying? You got to have a buffer between the public and your hustle, the public and your product, the public and your presentation. This is why they hire other people, man. Think about the game. Think about it logically. Look outside. See how the shit is shaping up. This is why they hire your ass. So you can run for president of their company. So you can be the person out front. So you can get shot. So you can get blamed. So they can say this motherfucker did it. While somebody else didn't do it. And you don't know who owned the company. You work for a company right now. You don't know who the motherfucker who owned it. You understand know what I'm saying? When that somebody come to town. They act like it's the owner. It ain't the owner. It's Oh man it's the VP. This motherfucker don't own shit either. I want you to understand this, homie, because the biggest thing, of course, is to protect yourself. But there's a there's a, a natural flow to this chip game, and that is the product push themselves. You stop pushing after you get them presented and on the right spot and in the right place. You understand what I'm saying? It takes an initial effort. You ever jump start a car? You ever had to get out, push the car? You know what I'm saying? Let it roll a little bit in neutral. Pop the clutch, jump in, pop that motherfucker and get going. You know what I'm saying? It takes it takes your effort to get the shit rolling downhill, homie. But you got to get in the car and pop the clutch, homie. Stop getting outside and shitting the elements. Because I want y'all to understand that shit, man. Because y'all got to control your ego in this chip game, man. Because it ain't safe. You understand what I'm saying? Besides the motherfucker sending you letters every day trying to get you to make your, spend your money on trick shit, you got tricks in this game who just coming to take shit from you. You got jealous motherfuckers, you got hateful motherfuckers, you got, uh, you know what I'm saying? I say jealous again, because it's a lot of, that's where the game really come down to. And then you always hear somebody say, oh man, you don't got no haters, you ain't doing, what the fuck's this stupid? Motherfucker who on Bank of America don't got no haters. Do you hate him? You don't even know, you got way more chips than everybody, and y'all don't know who the fuck he is. You can't be listening to ignorant motherfuckers who really don't understand this chip game. So when you serve a product, homie, your goal is to create structure. To create levels. So other motherfuckers will be on the front line. And if they dumbass because they just want to be employees. You know what I'm saying? Every once in a while you hear on TV. Uh, the guy was in uh, Walmart. And then he, he somebody was getting robbed. He ran out there and, and, and secured that person. Then, he, then Walmart fired him. Yeah, dumb motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Don't be bringing that. You know, let that motherfucker go. It's only $2 worth of merchandise. We got insurance on it. We going to get it right back. Why your dumb ass running out here trying to prove you loyal? You goddamn slave? I ain't gonna, you ain't gonna never catch no goddamn Freeman in the family running outside trying to stop the master's building from burning. Fuck that motherfucker. Let this bitch ass motherfucker get out in front. When you go to these interviews, homie, and they asking you all these dumb ass questions like, you wanna be out in front? You wanna do this? What is your motivation? All this shit is to set your bitch ass up so you can be the first one popped and shot and dropped in this game, homie. They know. Get some other motherfucker out there. They know. Get some other motherfucker to speak on the damn to the TV station. When you talking about this chip game, homie, and we talking about this money, you got to learn that there's a process to your product, homie. There's a process to your service. And that is to get from out in front of it. Let you be the motherfucker or some other motherfucker be the one that they, when you come to McDonald's when I was a kid, they pop in some tape and let you watch some other cornball ass motherfuckers from Kansas you know, doing burger and shit, and he's in charge of chief burger flipper. Let it be so abstract that motherfuckers don't know how it came into being. You understand what I'm saying? You don't know how God came into being. You don't know how this world came into being. It's a mystery. It's a mystery how Kmart came into being to most of you motherfuckers. It's a mystery how goddamn Dell computers came up. It's a mystery to how the windows got made. Everybody playing this game but you, hiding themselves away from the products. 
making sure other motherfuckers only know a name, not the game, not the person that the where that dude live. You understand what I'm saying? The whole podcast is called, you know what I'm saying, to protect and to serve. And you'll see that the majority of the time when your chips get past 100,000, you better learn how to protect your shit because now you enter in areas that motherfuckers have never seen and been before, homie. Next time, partner. You know, you got this fantasy.